course, every single game on Roblox is bound to have some wicked funny moments, and Roblox Doors is definitely one of them. When it comes to playing the game, you are bound to run into some funny deaths when it comes to no many way. situations. These are the funniest fails that you'll ever witness within Roblox Doors. What was the funniest fail you've ever seen or experienced? Let us know down below, and well, enjoy the show. The first one comes from an old clip of mine during one of my first ever runs in Roblox Doors. And after swiping a wardrobe from another player, he had a really funny pose afterwards. <laughs> No, 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 no. <laughs> the guy literally looked like the Statue of Liberty after that, and I guess with a unique name like that, it counts as extra points. This was crazy though. Imagine just trying to complete the library in peace, and you're right over near the cabinet area to grab the code paper, but then this happens. Baba Bowie. Ah! No! 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 <laughs> <laughs> Never in my life would I have thought figure was able to halt right over the entire counter like that. But I guess that's one way you can learn. But imagine dying before the game even starts while inside the elevator. This actually happened to a player, believe it or not. I mean, I guess it does technically count as a world Bruh. record. He did end up getting the game over screen literally at zero seconds. He's definitely loaded up with those hacks though, otherwise Ambush would have never came by. But have you ever seen Figure, especially when he enters during his quote unquote rage mode? Believe me, you'll definitely want to see this rare gem of a moment. I guess Figure had enough of people constantly trying to get past him during the cutscene and decided to change things up a bit. He was literally a freight train wrecking right through everyone as they all got turned into pieces. Funniest thing I've seen in doors in a long time. But how about windows? No, not that windows. I'm talking about this one that's just minding his own business as he smiles at you having a good time inside doors. Could this entity actually pose a threat to us players? Well, maybe in another universe, because check this one out. Alright, I gotta be honest, it's a fan created animation, but that would have been hilarious if the windows could actually kill you in the game like that. I feel bad about this one. It's Ares was just trying to hide away from Rush as normal, but of course, the game decides to have other plans and try to troll him in the worst way possible. First, his friend starts taking wardrobes and hiding spots away from him, forcing him to progress forward, and in the next couple rooms, had nowhere to hide. But the game decides to reward him with a screech right before Rush steps in for the final blow. Talk about an unlucky but funny fail right there. But plot twist, Screech was actually screaming for help. Yeah, I would definitely have to agree with that statement right there. This one will forever be the greatest death of all time, but earlier in that month, Owls and Squids was simply trying to beat the game and got all the way to the ending of the game only to find out that they ended up dying to unknown, reaching room zero, and not collecting any knobs in the process. Talk about playing in a dead server like that, but I guess Doors was having yet another troll moment right there, sadly to say. But guess what? This happened to yet another player literally a couple hours ago as of recording. Honestly, sad considering it's not the player's fault to fail during this buggy moment. I blame it all on the servers. Oh man, good old Jack. Always here to give you a nice big jump scare. Don't you just love it, especially when he decides to jump scare the player right before encountering another entity like this? No way. Ha! 
<laughs> Bro, should have jumped inside a closet a couple seconds earlier, and that wouldn't have even happened. This one was funny too, as Vibe Roblox is just chilling inside the library, but of course, this happens. Wait a second, you're telling me Jack and Figure are working together on this one? Man, that's literally such a lethal combo right there, not going to lie. Gotta love glitches though, especially when Curry was stuck inside the closet due to an apparent Figure bug and minigame glitch. He was stuck in there for literally 3 plus minutes, but even a simple out and in switch proved to be a major fail against Figure's great hearing. This one's an oldie. But Glitch is always known to be a useful entity as he teleports you back towards the group. But of course, just the opposite could happen depending on his mood, I guess. <laughs> Bro literally got teleported right in front of a rush and had like not even a second to react to it. Nice going, Glitch. That was the move of the century right there. But Xenia Lux wasn't the only one to experience this hilarious moment. Rainbowy also had quite the predicament when he trusted his life with Glitch as well. That's two for two right there, bro. Glitch out here giving everyone Fs during their classes right now. It's uncanny, bro. This one's weird, though. If an entity is making its way, such as Rush or Ambush, especially inside one of those vent rooms, your first instinct would be to slide in there to hide away from them, right? Well, this was unlucky, but funny at the same time, too. How did Rush even end up getting to him if he was all the way inside the vent? I bet Amogus had something to do with it. Just makes no sense to me. This one's funnier. Glitch was a bit too late during this attack, but him and Rush decided to attack together at the same time, causing this very abrupt moment. Bro literally got the death screen so quick that he had no idea what even happened. You can also hear Rush's attack sound deeply delayed into the guiding lights message, which was just the icing on the cake. But instead of just having two entities attacking you, how about three to create the most chaotic fail ever, huh? Alvar ran into Rush, Jack, and Glitch all at the same time, which created the funniest death screen I've seen in quite a while. Like, I don't even think the game knew what happened as the background got bugged out from that. When most people run into Seek, it only makes sense to run away from him as he chases you down during his chase sequence. But I guess there's always someone out there that tries to outsmart the system and figured hiding would be a better option. Yeah, nice going, bro. You thought hiding would help? Well, guess again. 